Yo, what's up everyone? Mike Smash back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be explaining how to do um that rectangle split screen um effect in DaVinci Resolve. So for the song, I'm using dripped out as an MP3. I'm using this use clips, and then I also have my other audio rack. Um, and then I also have my intro that I made. Um, shout out to Ducky for sending me this um, zip file. It's like a, it's called like an indent preset. So yeah, I just use that real quick just to like have an intro. So it's like fades in. You can actually um, make that to where your audio fades in. So that way it's synchronized and everything. I recommend you do that. Um, don't do that for the Money intro. Out. The intro comes in like later. And then I love like, Chris like, See Money right here. And then he has a shot. But obviously this isn't um synchronized right now or yet. So you have to sync it up right now. So just pretty much get the marker right there. Just do that and it should be like perfectly synchronized. So you have that um, indentation of your name. Look, I love Chris. I made a yarn one, but I just don't really. Want to do that. So like, that is perfectly synced. So like as you can see, don't the vibes, and then it hits. So if you want to go fancy, which I'm probably gonna do that right now, you're gonna go back 10 keyframes because we're doing velocity. So go back to where it says 10, or actually 9:54. Like right here, press Control R, add speed point. Go over here, add speed point, and then go over here, make that fit, and then size that back there. So it's pretty much gonna look like that. But we haven't even done speed. So. It's extremely clean. Also, when you're doing your video project, make sure you have. All the way down here, optical flow on, or else it's gonna look like it's, it's not gonna really not gonna look good. So make sure you have that on because um, it renders everything that has like velocity in it, makes it like super, super, super nice. So like that, and if you even want, you can go to the 54 or well, not anymore at least, but uh. You can actually go back like um so like when was this okay so you're gonna go back to like 49 and you can add another speed point and make that slower I, i'm not really sure how this looks but it's gonna add like like it's pretty much gonna look like this um, so like a slower um, but I don't, I don't really want to do that. Mainly just because I think this just looks really clean. You know? And like this, this part really makes it look nice too. Um. So pretty much now that you got that done, um, I'm actually going to add my sword sound effect. Um, it's gonna, it's, it's gonna make it sound a thousand times better. So, the audio is right here. So, this is where pretty much comes in. So, you're going to want to press Control B if you want to do this. And then, pretty much going to want to probably put it, like, um, right there. Because that's where we're going to do it. And then, it's going to be, like, like a... It's going to, like, the rectangle shift effect is pretty much um, going to go with our... Um, Pretty much gonna go with the sound effect, pretty much. So actually, I'm gonna actually as natural fade. If you even want, you can lower it. So that way, the music doesn't get um screwed up. And then when it's making that shink sound. Um, which is at like the spiked up part. That's where the sound effect gets louder, and that's where it's louder. Or um, the loudest part is. 
that's where like the lowest part is. But um, we're not making a whole video on that, so. Fade if you want, like 15 keyframes, and then you can add another fade out. It's pretty, it's pretty clean, pretty clean. Not gonna lie. So, um, so you're gonna want to get an adjustment clip out of effects on this little toolbox or toolbar, or whatever. And then you're also wanna, oh, uh, you're also gonna go to generators, and then you're gonna want to get a solid color, and Pretty much this solid color is going to go up top, I think. And then adjustment clip is going to go right here. So, yeah. And the sweet spot for the solid clip is 50. So, like, it, it has a dark, um, you know, um, essence to it, if you want to say that. And then you're going to want to also press Control b cut that, press Alt, and drag your clip all the way up. So, like that, practically. And then you're going to want to also um, go over here in Diffusion. Now that you have your adjustment clip, you're going to want to go um, pretty much with the... Um, 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 oh, actually, you're going to want to go over here, and you're going to want to press Rectangle. The angle is going to be... That's like the sweet spot most of the time, like minus 20. Minus 20 is a really good sweet spot for that. And then the width, you're going to want to go over here, make that too, um, just so like it can go outwards and it's not like that. Do not put this on because it's going to make it look really weird because um, we're going to actually add drop shadow to that later. So once you're done with that, save it. You can add drop shadow right now if you really wanted to do this, but... That's the thing, it, it like cancels it all. So, so pretty much, um, so it's gonna look like this right now. Um, and right now, the adjustment clip is the dark part. So you're gonna wanna go over here and press color correction and you can drag all of this down practically. So, it, it's gonna look sick. It's really gonna look sick. So, it, it pretty much looks like that. It, it highlights everything. And if you want for the, um, for the adjustment clip, if I'm correct, or if not this one, I think it's the adjustment clip. You can add, um, drop shadow, but I'm not completely sure that that's, um, the right thing, but I think it's over here. Um gonna want to add drop shadow yeah my bad everyone you're gonna want to put some drop shadow make that a little bit more and you're pretty much gonna want to make it heavy because you don't want like a a weak drop shadow and see it, it adds like a border like a, which like you can actually see um and then you're actually gonna want to don't make this too long but put it like five keyframes five keyframes Put that five keyframes, and then put that five keyframes. So that way, um, it comes in. So, so like, it's not like instant. It's like, like that. Um, and then with the fencing, you can just like sync it. But this is already synced. So like, right is it? It's like shing. It like goes right here and everything. So. And then you can just render it out and whatever. Um, this was actually a tutorial that I um, watched, made by Chop. He's like a really popular um, YouTuber who edits on DaVinci Resolve. And yeah, I'll link his description because um, he made this. I didn't like fully make this. I used it off of tutorial. Like, pretty much everything, like what, almost everything. Um, or almost what, like every person does who edits um but this is what it looks like so i'll play it in slow-mo pretty much like that and then it like syncs out but if you want you could even like like after this like like right here you could even 
drop it a little and like just rush it a little because you don't want it like taking 30 hours to be finished, you know? it's just gonna look weird after so like and actually if not you can like literally just cut it off like right here because that's usually what i do i usually cut it off where exactly the clip is so that way like there's no like over for effects and everything um and then, like I said, since that's over, you put this back at five keyframes or five um milliseconds and five milliseconds um, five milliseconds and keep saving this because Vinci crashes um I mean just like every single editor, but just make sure that you don't lose all your progress so. Um, yeah, just for your information. So, that's pretty, that's pretty nice. And then for the outro, where you can just extend it, if not, I'm gonna just do 20 milliseconds. Uh, I'm gonna be downloading some, um, transitions soon. But right now, I just, um... Just do this simple fade out because there's none currently for the 17 uh, public beta. Um, and I'm using this because this is just a better than cheap resolve 16. <laughs> um, so pretty much when you do that, um, you can add a little fade out. You can also put this out like that and then this and you can do this which is one second and 30 milliseconds um and then you're gonna want to go in here i'm gonna link this font probably um in the description probably in a google docs or google docs google drive um it's called like retro like retrica i think that's how you pronounce it and then you can just do uh it's pretty much like using yarns and shows and stuff so you could just do like Thanks for watching. Or you could do thanks for watching, subscribe, and like, but I'm probably not going to do that. Because this is going to take like ages. Um, you could scale this up until like you really can't anymore. Put that bold, but you're going to have to make this like probably like a 115. Yeah, because bold makes the text um, just a little bit bigger. Now that that's done, you're actually going to want to keep that. Go to video transitions. And then you're going to want to do barn door right here. So it's like a little type out. And then right here, you're going to want to do heart. So it's, um, you could actually lower this too. Like probably like 30, 30 frames and then this 30 frames. Oh. That way it's not like that. Not too choppy. Um, and it's pretty much gonna look like that. And then you're gonna wanna press Control B, cut that. And then right here, you're gonna wanna add pretty much um radio blur. From yeah, radio blur. And then um actually no 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 no. I stand corrected. You're gonna wanna add I'm correct. It was Gaussian Blur. Gaussian Blur. Sorry about that, everyone. Um, and you pretty much just do that. So, like, nobody can see it. But to make it smoother, um, you're going to want to go um, right here. Zero. And then, like, right here, when you see, like, the first bit of text, you're going to want to like Yeah. So that way everyone focuses on that and the mood um the music cuts out and then you can like add this a little bit more. That way it gives that um, cleaner fade out. Um so like that. And then you should be able to render it. Um I recommend you render it in 1080p or 1440p. Um you could do 4K, but um 
Yeah, that's just it's all personal preference. But I prefer um the sweet spot 1440p. So yeah. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe.